Um, what I am planning on showing you now is mail merging. So this is a way of getting really detailed feedback very, very, very quickly. All that mail merging is, is a very sort of la -di -da way of preventing yourself from doing the same thing over and over again. So when you're marking something, you tend to find that there's the same stuff over and over and over again. So kids aren't labeling their axes on the graph. Um, they're not remembering to put the accent above the E in French. They can't tell the difference between uh, theory and evidence. And you end up writing the same thing over and over and over again which is an absolute pain and quite frankly, just a waste of your time. So knowing this, I thought there must be a way to do this much more quickly um, while still giving the kids decent feedback, meaningful feedback, um, you know, and keeping the powers that be off stared, uh, whatever, uh, off your back. Um, so I decided to try and use mail merge marking to solve this issue. Um, and I've used it a few different ways over the years. So uh, this is a little example. So what went well, even better if. So uh, Darren, you've described most of the key stages, blah, blah, blah. And they've got specific things for each task. Lily didn't actually hand in her work, so that's what she got. OK. Uh, another example. So that was just a simple what went well, even better if. If you're feeling la di da, you can do this even more advanced. So uh, this is an old format that I used to use where it had a, a what went well, um, but then a literacy improvement task as well, because literacy was a massive focus at the time when I was originally doing this. So I, I had a literacy improvement task as well. Uh, specific language, nice sort of what went well, and one, two, three specific tasks there. So three, even better if. Uh, another little example. There we go. This one's even even more la di da. Where I've got what you've done well, a literacy and presentation sort of what went well as well, literacy improvement, subject specific improvement. Uh, but you don't necessarily have to do it for marking in that respect. Uh, this was uh, an end of unit test that my year 12s did last year. So this year's year 13s. Um, instead of typing in individual scores for each student, this was automatically generated using the mail merge system. Okay, I didn't have to type all that in. I didn't have to work out that. I just got a spreadsheet to get to do it. Okay, so let's show you how we can do this. First step is to get yourself a spreadsheet so in your spreadsheet you'll put all your student names uh, in one there uh, you do not have to put their email address but that can do something uh, a little bit cool which i'll show you later so what i've got set up here is the names uh like what went well one what went well two even better if one even better if two and here i've got what went well comment so what i'm going to do is make some comment to give as feedback so on this tab here, I've got a comment bank. So what went well comments, you've attempted to use two tenses in your paragraph. You've successfully used two tenses. You've used two tenses and started to use the future imperfect. You can go into more detail in each case uh, of what they have and haven't done. You can even have it as simple as you've handed in your work some <laughs> that might be an achievement uh, and then even better if again you can write yourself little comments and make sure you handed it working on time proofread your work um i was on a french brain there so how do we make french verb become past tense and then a specific example for them to try so convert juju into the past tense uh, attempt to write a sentence using the future tense whatever you want it to be okay you can see on the left hand side that there are numbers matched up to that as well so what I'm going to do is on the other page, I'm going to match numbers here to a comment here. So if I want to say to Katie uh, that she has used two tenses in your paragraph, that is comment number one. And what we do here is something called a V lookup. So you type in V lookup. Um, you can see here. This has got a whole lot of weird looking stuff, but all this first bit means is what value it's looking up. That is the value it's looking up. Comma, the table array. Table array is a posh way of saying, where is it looking up from? So I'm just gonna select those ones there. So it's gonna look up the numbers from there, comma. And column index number is which 
column out of the two that I've selected, do I want it to give a number four? So I want it to give the comment that is here, which is column number one, two. So I'm going to put two, close brackets, enter. And there we go. That has automatically looked up what that code links to and written a comment. If I want to change that comment, there we go. I can put it to number two and it automatically updates. To apply that to an entire class, uh, if you just drag it down, you can see it goes a little bit wrong. Um, so what we need to do is put dollar signs in before the number and the letter. So dollar sign there, dollar sign there, dollar sign there, dollar sign there. That means it is going to keep though that range as the range that it's looking up. If you just dragged it down without those dollar signs, it will drag those numbers down as well. So the next one will be three and 17, and then four and 18. Putting in the dollar signs prevents that. So it will still say that NA, but when I type in numbers now, there we go. To have another what went well comment, all I'm going to do is copy that, paste it there, which file, so we go back into it again, which cell is it looking up? It's looking up this, this cell. At the minute, there is no other uh, criteria there. Let's have uh, number one, and there we go. You can just see again there. It's looking up then. Even better if then. Uh, if you can, if you, if you want to, la di da, you can do your even better if just in green and red, whatever format it, however you like, tart it up, however you like. So even better if, so even better ifs, what they want to do. Make sure you hand in your work on time. Yeah, let's have that. So in the same way, we're going to do a V lookup again. Click the cell that you're looking up, comma. Get the range that you're looking up. I am going to circle the entire thing again comma. I wanted to report the second column along to close bracket. So my first comment that I've got there is eight. So let's go eight. If I drag that down, it's going to change that to three and then 21. In fact, let me just show you that. Here you go. B3, C21. I don't want that. I want it B2, C20 in this case. See, so however you set yours up, those numbers are going to be slightly different. So dollar there, dollar there, dollar there, dollar there. Take that down. OK, automatically generated that feedback there. OK, at this point, what we're going to do is save that. Save it in a sensible place and get rid of it. So how do we make that into nice looking feedback for the students? Well, we open a Word document. We go to mailings. Select recipients. And what that does is it chooses the data. So what we need to do is we need to link that to that spreadsheet that we made a moment ago. So where did I save that? I should have saved that somewhere sensible. There it is. So sample for demo, open. Which tab within that file do I want it to report on? I want it to report on the marking file. And it doesn't look like it's done anything, but it has. It's linked those two documents together. So if I go to insert merge field, I can get the name of the student. Now. Uh, if I click preview results, that will actually switch to a name. So you can spend absolutely ages tarting this up however you like, your, your favourite way of doing it. Uh, anything you write in normal text will stay as it is. But when it's there on mailings, that will change. If you put it in a particular format, mailings, preview, it will stay in that format. So what went well, even better if, 
you can have tables with this, you can have graphs, you can have all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff. Uh, and let's just have bullet point mailings, insert merge field. What went well? Number one, comment. So the one that said C on it, that's going to have that comment. I'm going to enter again. I'm going to have my what went well to comment. Bullet point again. In fact, let's have that as numbers so then they can like write it underneath um, mailings, insert merge field, even better if one. So that at the minute doesn't look particularly nice, but then boom, job done. If you were to be using this in lesson, what I'd do at this point, um, if we were still in school, is underneath I'd get a rule and then I'd go uh, next record because then what that does is I've just copied and pasted that underneath there. If I click preview results again, there we go, it's gone on to the next student and you can see there, because we used different numbers before, we've got different comments. Sometimes it is a bit silly here where it converts that one to a two, it continues there. But if you just right click, restart at one, that'll save it. Um, so at this point, if I were in school, I'd go edit individual documents, all, and that makes a new document there where it's actually, despite the fact I've not put in Paul or Elaine or Graham, it's got them there because they were there in my spreadsheet. So you might want to print that out, job done. I'm going to get rid of that for now because what we're going to do, oopsie days, don't say, but I don't want that. What we're going to do instead, what might be more useful for us right now, oops, is to send this as an email. So if we go finish and merge, and instead of going edit individual documents, I'm going to go to send email messages. So on this here, so finish and merge, send email to, and we look up where we put our email. Now on my spreadsheet, I put email as the first column. So that automatically chooses the two. Subject line, feedback from work, whatever, uh, mail format, I'd always go for HTML, that makes sure uh, that any colors and formatting that you've got stays the same. Um, plain text gets rid of all the formatting. Attachment, uh, I assume it's just gonna attach this Word document to it itself, um, which then gives the kids another thing to open. So, yeah. uh, so email, feedback from work, HTML, okay. And what that should be doing right now there we go, it's generated all those, you just saw that flick quickly on. If you do that from a computer that is already hooked up to uh, your email service, hopefully uh, those people will have just received that as an email. So that is mail merge marking. Uh, and if you do it right, if you set up enough sort of different comments, it looks to the kid really professional and really detailed. And lots of kids have uh, commented before, Miss, did you write these all by yourself? Like, yeah, of course I did. Yeah, and you don't. Um, so here's one that I've had set up for a while. Um, you can see that it's, it's been a bit more tarted up. I've broken it up with colour because I struggled to see everything without colour. Uh, and here we go, that I've broken it up into the different sections here. Done well. Just generic comments each time. Subject improvements, specific subject improvements of what they need to do. You know, it, it's all kind of there for you. Um, so last thing that I am going to show you, it's a shameless plug. Um, this is my uh, TES page and it has got uh, an example of mail merging. I called it the auto marker. So if you search for Miss KCAT auto marker, and I can send out a link for this at the end. Uh, there it is, along with all sorts of other different uh, resources I've made over the years. Uh, so here we go. This auto marker, you can download it for free. This has got uh, within the files, there's an example. So how to use the auto marker, an example of the stamp that you could use. Um, there's also a comment bank, example markings. So if you do want to have a go at this, but you're not feeling confident to make one from scratch by yourself, just download this and that'll help you out. It is completely free. So please do feel free to uh, have a go. So there we go. I do hope that has been helpful. Um, I have got lots of other videos on YouTube uh, relating to e-learning. So please do check them out too.